Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. It's AMX 50B day. How much damage does it take to ace the AMX 50B? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Okay, guys, look. A platoon of two AMX 50Bs. We are watching Commander Vader. Commander Vader. Let's get this show on the road, Commander. And he's going to show us how much damage it takes to ace the AMX 50B. We're going to watch two games. Two amazing games. I got to get this tank. Why am I showing you AMX 50B games? Because I'm, I'm going to get it soon. And I wanted to watch some games because, you know, because I'm going to get it. It's, I think, the burst damage king in the game. Accuracy? Eh, not so great, I guess. Well, he was shooting a wheeled vehicle, but boom. And boom. And boom. Oh, oh! He didn't need four shots because RNG said, You on fire. He starts on flammen! Is what the German commander said. Ah, the view range, the speed, the power creep in this game is such that the maps are too small. The mouse had no chance. He couldn't even get into position. Now the E100 is going to suffer a similar fate. One, and two, and three, and four. All done within his own spotting range, guys. I must point out. Both those clips were fired on tanks that were uh, heavy tanks that were easily spotted by himself. He's not, um, he didn't get the damage based on someone else's spotting. So he gets full XP credit for it, is what, I, what I'm trying to say. And reload it again. And now there's another tank that's gonna pay. One and two. Wow, I gotta get me one of these. I gotta get me one of these. Holy shit. Now, seriously, guys. On this map, you have to look at the mini-map. You have to get from the spawn to here. And you got to get from this spawn to here, okay? And you're in a big, slow, heavy tank like a mouse or an E100 or a Type 5 heavy or something like that. If other heavy tanks and medium tanks can get to the center ridge line, spot you and shoot you even before you get into position. I'm not talking about light tanks, okay? A light tank might be able to scoot to the middle and spot you, fine. You take an artillery hit or something. But when other heavy tanks or uh, auto loading medium tanks or uh, Russian medium tanks or leopards or uh, projectos or when other non light tanks can rush to the ridge line and basically just farm uh, a full HP mouse or a full HP E100 or a full HP Type 5 Heavy on its way just at the start of the game from the spawn to one heavy tank choke point, then the map uh, is too small. Wargaming, then the map is not functional, okay? The, the map is no good. Um, just, it needs to be um, reworked so that the amount of time it takes to get to the middle here to spot these guys, those heavy tanks should be able to get almost in cover. So maybe, you know, if they're really slow and stupid, they get hit once. But having them completely helpless and basically just leaving the spawn, that, that, that poor uh, E100 and Mouse were just coming down the slope. They had just left the spawn. Uh, then, then the map is stupid, right? Or, or the, uh, the other way of looking at it is just don't play slow tanks, guys. That's that's why slow tanks are not the meta and they're just a waste of time to play. Because you have games like that. Those poor guys, right? E100, Motion, uh, Dead, Dead, Mouse. Oh, it was a Motion, not a Mouse, sorry. It was a Motion and an E100. Uh, what, what were they supposed to do? Stay at the spawn? I guess their other option was uh, to, to immediately retreat, look at the mini-map, and then go down here. Uh, they really had no... Oh, ricochet armor not penetrate. They, they had no other option. They had to get to the heavy tank uh, 
or maybe come right to the middle with no gun depression. I, I, you know, it's just... Uh, but Wargaming doesn't think about those uh, uh, gameplay, you know, the smoothness of gameplay or... It's just broken is what it is, right? It's just, why have a map where that's the case? There's that other map where uh, the gravel pit in the middle and one side, if you get a spotter there really quickly, you see everyone driving by and you can farm them. It's just, it's just a natural thing, I think, would be just to make uh, the time it takes to get to the center of the map. Or maybe make this map a little bit bigger. So the time it takes to get to the center of the map uh, it takes a little bit longer than the time it takes for the heavies to at least cross the open ground in the first five seconds of the game. It just seems like a normal thing for me, but uh, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe that's why I haven't devised or developed my own uh, video game, because I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously, right? See, I'm saying stuff, but I obviously have no idea, because I'm just a stupid YouTuber, and uh, Wargaming is a multi-million dollar company that knows exactly how it works, and I guess that's what you have to do when you make video games is you you make the maps and the, the game so frustratingly trollingly uh, enraging uh, that you make a lot of money oh well <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> I don't know I can't explain it okay and I know I've, I've gone on long enough about it but that's just uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section it's uh, to me it's kind of let me rephrase, uh, I'll just paraphrase now and then we'll move on, okay? Uh, I, I'm just saying that I think it's okay that a light tank can make it to that initial position and spot the heavies. That's fine, okay? But I don't think it's right that super powerful burst damage uh, heavy tanks and medium tank can also get to that position and annihilate the passing heavy so maybe this amx 50b needs to needs a speed nerf well but then it doesn't have any armor and then that would be unbalanced in a different way so it's just you know it's a it's a tricky thing to try and balance everything i guess you can't balance everything right you try and balance one thing and then something else is unbalanced uh so you know maybe i maybe it's hard maybe it's hard to get it right i believe it is hard to get it right but can, is it possible to always get it wrong, though? Just because it's hard to get it right doesn't mean it always has to be wrong. All right, let's move on. AMX 50B pulls around the corner with full load of four shots in the clip. And whoever he encounters is going to really not enjoy what's going to happen. And he scoots across here, spotted... Yeah, I knew he'd get... Why did you screw... Okay. You wanted to get to this rock. Where's the Udez? Still on the ridge line? No, the Udez was right up here. He's going for the Udez. He's spotted again. Where's the... Oh, there it is. An invisible Udez. You can barely turn... Where's the Udez? It's got to be right here. There he is. And the Udez is saying, Oh, I do not like my life right now. Two. And boom, he only took two shots. He had backup. I gotta get me an AMX 50B. I think that's the moral of the story. Right, guys? Are you excited to see me play an AMX 50B? I'll be just cursing the whole time. Freaking gun won't hit everything. I only hit one out of four shots. God damn it. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen if I play the AMX 50B. <laughs> Uh, the Sheridan fired a heat round. Well, Sheridan, you're losing. The score is 8-11 on your team. So you just fired a heat round on an AMX 50B and you bounced. <laughs> because this game is all about skill. And the RNG is not wonky at the end. It's just... It's just <laughs> and you just need to get good. <laughs> So, 9,124 damage. Is that how much damage you need uh, to get Ace Tanker in the AMX 50B? Now, remember, a lot of this damage he's doing on his own spotting, guys. He's moving around. He moved to the center of the map. He's moving forward, and he's spotting these enemies on his own. 
and shooting them, right? And he's getting kills. He's got four kills. That's it's not over. He's over 9,000 damage. Plus 500 spotting assist. And boom. And boom. Okay. Five kills. 9,584 damage. Victory. That's not enough to get Ace Tanker. That's only first class. 9,584 damage. Five kills. It's not enough. You gold spot. Bammer. Well, let's watch Milaneko from the Five Head Clan. Shout out to you guys. He's got two marks on his barrel. He knows how to ace an AMX 50B. Guys, you believe that? Over 9,000 damage. And that was not good enough for Ace Tanker. Plus 500 spotting assist. It was almost 10,000 combined. And you watch the game. Uh, he wasn't sitting at the back sniping people that his uh, teammates spotted. And even if he was... Even if he was just shooting uh, lit targets that, say, a light tank uh, spotted, it's 10,000 damage, almost. 9,000 damage. That's, uh, you know what it tells you? When the expectation value is that high, it just means that this is one badass tank. This is, this tank must have really, there's the bell curve. You know, a lot of the games uh, from the regular Muppets are going to be in the middle of the bell curve. And then the, this side of the bell curve is going to go to zero because some games people are going to get zero. So th this is anchored at zero. Then there's the bell of Muppets. And then there's the other bell. You know, the elite amazing games. The feather edge of the other bell. And that must really extend out far. <laughs> so that the top 5% the top 5% of results on that feather edge of the bell curve, that represents Ace Tanker. You have to be better than, is it 90 or 95% of the players, either 5 or 10%? What it means is the extreme games on that feather edge of the bell curve are really good. And that's uh, understandable because this tank carries uh, 40, 50, 60 shells that do what, 400 damage each? And it has burst damage and, and Every now and then, you're going to have a game where you fire almost all your shells and connect and just rack up the damage like there's no tomorrow. Those are going to be the ace tanker games or the, uh, the, the, the high percentile games that set the standard for getting three marks. Right? Okay. I click at this. One, two... Three. Get out of the way, teammate. Get out of the way, teammate. Okay, one clip, 1,500 damage. Rinse and repeat. Wow. Okay. That sets this, uh, what I just described, the, the bell curve, sets the extreme results that are required for uh, getting three marks or acing the tank, you know, depending on where the cutoff is. Um... And some tanks, by their very nature, like, like this one, uh, have a very high uh, bar because the extreme result is just pumping out clip after clip after clip and connecting and doing a shit ton of damage. Where there's other tanks that um, cannot achieve a the, the, the feather edge is not that extreme. I'll give you an example, like the Manticore, okay? Uh, the Manticore has a bell curve as well. The, you know, the Muppet's in the middle, the zero on this side. But what's the feather edge, the, the high edge for the Manticore, the extreme uh, result edge? Well, it doesn't extend out that far because the Manticore only has 20 shots. It only has 20 shells. So if, if, that, uh, if a Manticore takes all 20 shots, and it connects all 20 and pens all 20. It does 390 damage times 20. It does uh, 7,800 damage, plus or minus RNG fires. You know, the, 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 I'm speaking just generally speaking here. The most damage you can do is around 8,000. That's the most, okay? So what happens if you roll, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, uh, for, for damage wise, no, maybe I'm wrong here. 
maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, what, what I'm trying to say, let me let me uh, correct or or switch the conversation into so that I'm right. <laughs> the Manticore can only do eight thousand damage. So when you look at the results for a Manticore, the extreme games that cause a tank, ace tanker. If you roll out in your Manticore and you do eight thousand damage, you probably won't ace the tank. The extreme games required to ace the tank are those times when a Manticore does a lot of damage, plus gets 10,000 spotting assist. So the extreme edge might still be like uh, 18,000 or 15,000 or 20,000 combined. And it relies on when you're trying to ace the Manticore, you have to do a whole bunch of spotting as well, because you can't do it just on damage. That's what I did. My mind was working, but not 100%. I said something that was wrong but corrected it, if you follow what I'm saying. So a different way of trying to ace the Manticore, you have to get some spotting assist. If you sit at the back and just shoot your gun to ace the Manticore and you you do 7,000 damage, you won't ace it. You have to be the guy that does 10,000 spotting because that's the where the feather edge of the extreme result will be. And there's other tanks, that every tank is a little bit different. And it must be that this AMX 50B has just such a high potential damage output that 9,000 damage is just not good enough to ace it. Ha! Huh. Maybe he had to do 9,000 damage plus 4,000 spotting assist. And of course these numbers change because it resets uh, like the trailing two weeks or whatever it is. So it all depends who's playing it. Maybe some really good players are playing it. Uh, oh, you're immobilized and your turret ring. Oh, he fixed it and he got him. You know, if some really good clan members are playing it and they're getting really fantastic results, it skews them for a short period of time. But anyways, enough of that. This is all, it's all semantics. Just uh, roll out, play it, and have fun. And this guy is having fun. He's done 8,372 damage, and he's got 359 assistance damage. And now he could get another clip here. One. Oh, he only gets one shot. And Kenny, 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 Kenny is a full health E100, almost full health E100. Kenny, Kenny, just shoot the house down. <laughs> there's also a, a, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of enemies left. There's a lot of HP left. So this guy can do a lot more damage there. Someone shot the house down. There's one and two. Oh, beautiful. This guy's, over, this guy's almost, he's at 10,000 combined right now. He's going for the reload. 10,000 combined, guys. Uh, but he had some sp spotting help. The guys he was shooting on the hill, he was not detecting himself. That E100, he was not detecting himself. This STRVK is outside his maximum detection range. This T95, he might be able to... Oh, he might be able to shoot this guy. Boom. Oh. Kills the KPZ. And there's still three. Three enemies. They're probably up on the hill. Now, if you wanted to ace this tank, I think the correct thing to do now is just <laughs> surge forward and be the guy that spots these last three guys. Get yourself two, three thousand spotting assist here, buddy. If he gets two, three thousand spotting assist, I think the ace tanker is guaranteed. But he's at ten thousand combined, just like the other guy, and I don't think this is good enough. And now he's waiting. He wants to do damage. He's detected. If you just surged forward, well, you might be dead. On the other hand, you might be dead. So. Because you've got no armor. If you just searched forward, maybe you'd spot them, maybe you wouldn't. But they would have shot you. And now looking at where they are, Kenny, uh, he spotted, okay, the IS-7. You spotted the IS-7, I believe, unless the Object 268 spotted the IS-7. Okay, he did not get the spotting assist, so you got to go clip this guy. He's He has not reloaded, he's only got three shells. I don't know why he didn't reload after all that time, but he didn't. So that's okay, let's see, one, and maybe he doesn't have to reload, two, and three. Oh, it would have been nice to have one more shell. It would have been nice to have one more shell. He would have killed him if he had one more shell, but here goes an object, 268 version four, kill stealing. And he ends up with, let's see, is this ace tanker? Leave some comments. Is this an ace tanker game or not? And the answer is no, it's not. Only first class. 10,659 damage and 500 spotting assist. 11,000 combined. 
no fun for you thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video leave some comments subscribe to the channel help the channel grow and i will catch you on the next one